Time directionality. We perceive time as always moving forward, but what if instead we can move against the flow of time? You would travel forward while the world around you moves backwards. Things fall up, fluids unmix, and entropy in general would decrease. I've been working on a time travel game where characters move through time independently. Moving forward pushes a character into the future, and characters who haven't been that far into the future disappear. With my most recent addition though, characters can change the direction they move through time. This isn't just rewinding, but allows characters to move through time in the reverse direction, similar to the film Tenet. When the character leaves the time inverter, they see a copy of themselves exiting the inverter where they entered, and can move alongside their previous self. In the past, the characters can invert themselves again to move forward and watch two versions of themselves disappear into the past when they enter the inverter the first time. I've also worked on a portal which allows characters to jump forward or backward through time by a set amount. This will let themselves visit events without having to create a duplicate of themselves when they move through time. With these two features, a lot of interesting puzzle mechanics are opened up as I move forward with development. I've gotten several questions though about how my time travel system works. The most basic explanation is that certain variables are recorded and then replayed until the character reaches the present. If there is no replay data, the character has faded away. This character might not yet exist or has not reached the current time. Recording every variable though could be very expensive. It's all about reducing the number of variables. Let's look at the arrows the archer shoots. Each arrow needs to know its position, so that way when you move forward or backward through time, the arrow is always in the right spot. You could store the position at each point in time and record that back. Alternatively, if you knew when to start the effect, you could just track how the motion was started and how the motion ended. Instead of explicitly stating where the arrow is, you can implicitly define where the arrow will be with less information. On top of this, each variable has directionality. A shoot event from the arrow happens when the arrow starts its motion in the forward. But when going in reverse, the arrow must put itself away into the quiver. Not all events care about directionality, but some have quite different effects this way. Even further, what happens when part of the replay is altered, such as a character walking over a bridge which no longer exists? This causes a paradox. Some variables need to check if a state change that occurred is allowed. An example of this would be pressing a button that is already pressed. This is okay because it doesn't change the output, but something that wouldn't be allowed is a character expected to be in a walking state who is now in a falling state. This deletes the replay data after that one moment, effectively resetting their present to the point of the paradox. The effect seems complicated at first, but the code itself is actually pretty simple. I'm designing this to be used in other people's projects, not just my own. If you have any suggestions for cool time travel puzzles or effects, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can make. Liking, subscribing, and sharing with others helps me a ton if you enjoyed the content. I'll be back on the next update. I'm a goddamn superhero.